Should you sell on jet.com? My name is Kevin from maximizingecommerce.com and I help people build e-commerce businesses that they can be proud of. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about my own personal experience as to whether or not it's worth selling on jet.com. Now, just to take a step back, my overall philosophy here at Maximizing E-commerce is that you've only got so much time and that you should maximize whatever time you have by putting out the best products on the most amount of channels where you can get a good return. And you know, there is an investment of time in the front end to set up a channel or to get more products, whatever the case is. But at a certain point, you have to ask yourself, is it worth it? So I'm gonna let you know, is it worth selling on Jet? So um, just to take a little bit of a step back, um, I'm a mainly Amazon seller, in case this is your first time at this channel. Bump the camera there. Um, and uh, for the last 12 months, I've sold about $250,000 um, US collectively in all the marketplaces I'm on, which are mostly Amazon marketplaces and mostly, well, not mostly, mostly on Amazon.com would be the biggest chunk and then followed by Amazon foreign marketplaces. Jet.com is one place I do sell my products. So I'll walk through some numbers of what it's looked like the last year, just so you have something to, to compare. Uh, and then what I'd like to do is, um, before we get there, just walk through what does it take to sell on Jet. So Jet doesn't have the same backend capability um, that Amazon does. And I, I'm assuming Walmart is probably similar because actually Walmart owns jet.com. They had bought them about a year and a half ago or so, I believe, um, in the billions. Um, so you would think, wow, Jet must be doing pretty well um, to be bought out by Walmart um, for billions of dollars when they'd only been around for like a year at that point. Um, now, one of the things is if you wanna sell on Jet, you have to get a, uh, a platform, like a multi-channel, uh, software of some sort. There's a lot out there that are really expensive. Now, if you already have one of those types of software, I'd say mm, maybe it's worth it. Um, now on Jet, what I've used to access the backend platform is something called Geek Seller, and they charge a small percent of your sales. I, I forget the exact number. Um, maybe it's 1% or something like that. I don't even think it's that high. Um, for every transaction that they help you process. Uh, maybe it is 1%. I should probably have looked that up, but I didn't. Um, so anyway, selling on Jet, you have to have Geek Seller. Geek Seller takes your information on you know, your product listings and all that. And you can connect it to Amazon, so it pulls it all. And then they take that listing data and they put it in a, like a Jet-friendly format and they send it off to Jet and then Jet has to approve the products. I have some products that still a year later are under review, and I've even made sales. So why they're showing as under review and not active, I don't know. But when I, I can find the product if I go to jet.com, and I've even made a couple sales for some of these products that are under review. So it was kind of weird why that was. Um, and then it was just taking a long time. There was a lot of errors. And I remember hearing people talking about that beforehand. Like, you know, when you go on Jet, it's, all of a sudden, let's just say it this way, you get a good, um, a good appreciation for what you have selling on Amazon or if you use Shopify or you know, one of these other platforms, that, you know, very well-built platforms. And sometimes you have frustrations with some of these other platforms like you know, Shopify or Amazon. But then when you sell somewhere else, you're like, oh, wow. <laughs> um, you have a new appreciation for all that they put into Amazon. And, and Jet, I mean, not to disparage Jet, it's, it's not bad. It's just for the amount of effort I put into it, um, just to give you some numbers here. Um, so today that I record this, it is the 6th of April, 2018. And I think my first order, well, according to the report, my first order was on April 9th. So that was a year ago. And in that time, I've had seven orders. Um, which resulted in 11 units sold because one order was an order of five units of a particular product. That was $126.89 in sales of that $23 was shipping and handling because you have to fulfill all your own, fulfill all your own orders on jet as opposed to Amazon where you have FBA. Now you could have FBA fulfill 
the orders from Jet. I think some people do. I'm not 100% sure that's compliant within Jet's terms of service. So I just thought it would be kind of weird that they order on one. But I have actually used FBA to fulfill a couple of the orders. I don't do it all the time. Um, well, then again, it's been seven orders. So <laughs> it hasn't been all that many. Um, so with the shipping and handling of $23, it's $149.89. So shipping and handling, I'm looking as a revenue source, the same as I would look at um, top, li top line sales on Amazon because you know Amazon, most of the time, the customer's not paying anything for shipping. I'm paying for the shipping as the um, FBA seller, which makes sense. It's just a, a cost built into it. So just to make it apples and oranges, we'll give Jet the benefit of the doubt and say that the shipping and handling is included in the sales number. Um, as to what my income is coming from there because you have to subtract out my cost to ship to the customer. So $149.89 in a year and put in a decent amount of work, several hours to get it up and running. Um, now, I wouldn't call that a failure because I was like trying new things. Like when in doubt, just try. And, you know, especially if there's not a lot of information out there. There's not a lot of information out there about Jets. So that's one of the reasons why I figured I would do this. Um, in fact, if you have um a experience or an experience working or any experience maybe be the right way to put it um selling on jet i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below what that experience has been like i've heard people say all over the board like maybe it was really went really well in the beginning and then over time not so much um i don't know how much marketing dollars goes into marketing jet as a platform so that could have a, a bearing on it um and I'm sure, you know, they've got good, smart people working there and they're always trying to improve it. So I, I don't, I'm not, I don't see myself taking my foothold away from there because it doesn't cost me anything. I'm only paying a small percentage of sales to Geek Seller to be on there. Um, and the people at Geek Seller, when I've worked with them, they've been great. They've been helpful. Just sometimes just getting the information to mesh with Jet hasn't always been there. But one thing I did want to put in comparison. So I'm in, you know, Amazon, the US, Amazon, Canada and then the five European marketplaces. And of all seven marketplaces, you know, US and Canada included, um, France, Amazon.fr is my lowest grossing, by far lowest, like it's not even close, like they're way down below the rest. Um, in the last year, and I say last year, but actually my first sale was October 15th of 2017. So I've only really been there for, about six months. We're comparing half the time period of the time I've been selling on Jet. So on Amazon FR, I've had 23 orders for 32 units. I've had quite a few multi-unit orders there, which is actually, we'll call it a surprising benefit. Um, it was about 415 euros. Now, I went and looked in on Google and just as of today, the day I record this, because it's always up and down when you're comparing US dollars to euros, but it's for every euro is about $1.23. So it hasn't always been as favorable to the euro giving me more dollars, if that makes sense, um, the entire time. But just to use that number, it's, it's $510.40 comparatively using today's conversion um, rate. $510. So if you think about that, that's about three and a half times what I've sold in jet in twice the amount of time or in half the amount of time in France. I've sold three times what I've sold in jet in twice the time period. So I'm a big believer in trying new marketplaces, putting it out there. Um, you know, I've got some other things in my radar, like trying Groupon. I've heard up and down stories about Groupon. Just as I have time, I want to try to do more with that. Um, you know, try to want to do more with Etsy, uh, you know, of course with my own website. Um, but overall I would say if you're thinking about going on jet, I would say if do it when you're at a bigger scale, bigger scale than I am now, much bigger scale. Like if you're in the millions and you know, it doesn't hurt to add another small percentage because you know that'll help your bottom line then i say sure go for it because maybe you're doing millions of dollars in sales and maybe i would say go into there but if you haven't gone to europe if you haven't gone to um canada 
and for you know Amazon and start looking into other marketplaces and those places as well, which is something that's on my radar. I would say Jet would be low on your uh, your radar, just to be completely honest. Like it's excuse me, it's not a terrible place to be, but it's just I haven't had good success with it. So maybe you've had better success. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Um, I they don't really have a at least that I've played with a great like advertising platform. Like you know Amazon, you can kind of spike the algorithm by you know investing in uh, PPC. You know even if you're not spending huge amounts of money on PPC, you're starting to put in sales and the algorithm notices you. I can't figure out how to get the algorithm to work on Jet. And again, if you know something and something you're comfortable sharing publicly, um, you know, put a comment down below or message me if, if, if you wanted to share, I would love to hear. Um, you know, I try to be pretty open with the stuff that I've learned. Um, so if you know anything about Jet, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So anyway, hopefully you found this video to be helpful, um, at least maybe helpful in deciding some things. Um, or at least, you know, seeing my vantage point of, you know, how my experience on a particular platform jet that is. So um, love it if you can give a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. So uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, have yourself a wonderful day. Take care.